Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located in Delmont, Pennsylvania. And uh, what's so funny? <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is great. I love it. So. Tell me, and uh, by the way, my name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist here at Seclair, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my right would be I'm Joe Florida, <laughs> PA student from Chatham University, and Miss Giggles on my left would be <laughs> I'm Kelsey <laughs> from the University of Mount Union. Good. I'm so glad she did that because we're going we're going to talk a little bit about today. This is a challenge. This is a <laughs> challenge podcast. A challenge podcast for everyone out there. Have you ever heard the term carpe diem? I have. And? Seize the day. Seize the day. What does what seize the day mean to you? Woo! Um, <laughs> it means to <clears throat> experience the day, make it your best. Experience the day, make it your best. It means grab it, right? Mm -hmm. And grab it's an action verb, is it not? That's right. Right. It's not, it's not just, the, can you think your way into seizing the day? Can you, can you do that? No. Can you think your way into acting right? No. no. We act our way into thinking right, don't we? That means that means breaking out. So this is a challenge. This is this is a. I'm asking you. I'm challenging you to get involved in your life. Get involved in your life. And I'll ask you again, probably for the five or six thousandth time. Where are you at? Right here. How do you know that? I can feel the table. My hand. What else? I can hear your voice. Okay. And what time is it, Kelsey? Right now. How do you know it's right now? Because. I just do. You just do? No, I can feel my heart beating. I'm in the moment. Lights are bright. Sure, sure. So, uh, Thoreau, often, Thoreau said that uh, most men lead lives of quiet desperation, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Okay? Do you want your life to be one of quiet desperation? Do you out there want your life to be of quiet desperation? Do you want to sit and wish and hope and wait for things to happen? Do you wish things would get better? Do you hope things would get better? Do you, are you waiting for something to happen? Are you waiting until you deserve it? Are you waiting for the right time? What time is it, Joe? It's right now. It's correct. It's right now. And that's my challenge to everyone out there today. So it's easy to say, well, grab life. Go get it. How, how does a person do that, Kelsey? What we do on this particular podcast is actually incorporate some action steps into people's lives so they can actually incorporate these steps. Okay, my first step would be to live with purpose. And to do that, figure out what's important to you and what you would like to do with your life in order to avoid just coasting and going with the flow of everything. So you want to figure out what's important, okay? So when we figure out what's important, Joe, what we do is we detach. We detach from things that are not important. Mm -hmm. How many things are you worried about in your life that would truly are not important, that wouldn't be on that important list? Oh, tons. Yes. So and you have a choice to detach, do you not? I do. You also, too, do, Kelsey. You have a choice to detach, do Good stuff. And what else do you have? Stop making excuses. Mm -hmm. Um, that's my second step. Yeah, and what, uh, what, 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 is, what, is, what is excuses? I think excuses deals with not taking personal responsibility for what you're doing or if you didn't accomplish something that you said to accomplish, you should just look inside and try to better yourself from the experience rather so what than making excuses. You're talking about taking personal responsibility. That's mm -hmm. great. And taking re personal responsibility is making a choice. Absolutely. Right? So how many times have you said in your life, I can't? Many. Many. Mm -hmm. I can't, or I should, or I need to, or I must, or I have to. Does that, that takes away your choices, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You're taking away your own choices. So stop making excuses. Mm -hmm. How about this? And stop making excuses means telling the truth, does it not? It does. Telling the truth. How many times have you made up something when you were late, or uh, turning something in late? Uh, mm -hmm. we, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Running late. Sure. We all make excuses. Mm -hmm. Well, let's tell the truth. I'm late. I slept in. No, I just didn't get that done. Mm -hmm. Rather than saying, oh my gosh, you know, my dog ate my uh, paper and uh, all these other mm -hmm. ridiculous things that uh, we figure out. They could. Let's take responsibility. Take ownership for your life. 
That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And next? Okay. Along with choices, choose not to be a victim. Say more about that. Um, life happens. Stuff happens to everyone. No one's immune to it, but you can either choose to dwell in that or choose to pick yourself up and move on. So how many of us live in remorse and we live in self-pity? I think most of us. Absolutely. That can, that can be a warm, comfortable place, can it? Say, oh, nice and nice and say, oh, poor me. Mm -hmm. So in a 12-step world, we call that poor me, poor me, poor me another drink. Mm. <laughs> um, the fourth is stop comparing yourself to others. Mm. Um, when we compare, we don't see the whole picture to other people. What they present isn't the whole story, and we need to remember that. And regardless of how they present themselves, it's still your choice to live your own life with integrity. And that just sounds like another choice. <clears throat> So how about this, Joe? Well, if we challenge people out there to consider what they are rather than what they are not. I think that's a great idea. How much, so how often, Kelsey, do we get to talk to people and say, they tell you what they are not rather than what they are? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not interested in knowing what you are not. What I'm interested in is knowing what you are. And seriously, mm -hmm. go ahead. And number five, take action now. How do you do that? You tell me. Hmm? <laughs> I, want, I want to hear from you. How do you take action? If you want to do something, how do you get it done? Um, take action now. You live in the moment right here, right now. You live in the moment right here, right now. Mm -hmm. That means being accurately able to label and describe. Are you a procrastinator, Joe? Yep, absolutely. Talk to us about that. <sighs> well, when you have something that you're really not looking forward to or you just don't want to do, um, you come up with all sorts of excuses and other things to put it off as late as you can and just pretty much waste that time. Mm -hmm. Then it's wasting time, right? That's, that's what it is, yeah. So procrastin procrastination is based on fear. What am I afraid of? You know, that's self-evaluation, self-reflection. And this just doesn't occur overnight. These are, these are steps that we take. What am I afraid of? Why won't I get that paper done? Why won't I, why won't I make that phone call? It's not always procrastination, Joe, it's fear. Mm -hmm. And what does fear lead to? Fear leads to anxiety, does it not? Mm -hmm. And fear leads to depression. Under Fear is a corroding thread throughout people's lives. So my challenge is to everyone out there, take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility for yourself. Let's not make any more excuses. Let's not hear any more that I'm sorry. How many times have you said you're sorry in your life? Probably a lot. Yes. And Kelsey? Mm -hmm. Sure. And how many times do you actually mean it? Not nearly that much. Right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you can consider this podcast a no sorry zone. A no, no sorry zone. So, uh, Miss Kelsey, this is uh, your last uh, podcast with us today. Mm -hmm. And what would you share with uh, individuals out there in our listening audience? All right. Carpe diem in essence, will allow you to look at the past without regret, to live in the present with confidence, and look to the future without anxiety. Any final thoughts from you, Mr. Joe? Uh, I just think that uh, being mindful about where you are and what time it is is the best way to seize the day. Being mindful, absolutely. So, as always, we'll leave you with a free prescription, fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unplug your television. I would suggest everybody be in recovery from the news and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask that you fish without bait. Until then, your assignment, as always, to be good to yourself and show kindness to another. Namaste. Namaste.